What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Krog Query Show's Cash Vault, where me and Krog ask each other in the viewers' questions. I'm here with Krog on Discord. Say what's up, Krog. What's up, Krog? <laughs> and I, of course, going, am Corti. All right, so we're going to get right into this. I'm going to ask Krog his question first. He'll ask me his, and then we got a question for you guys. All right, so I have for Krog, what, do you, what would be your top three games, last games on Earth? Top three last games last on Earth. Games on Earth. Only Thank thing you. ever playable ever again. Excellent answer for this. I'm excited. <clears throat> it kind of sucked that it was only three because it took me a while to find the third one. But I think I got a great list here. I'm waiting. All right. I'm, I'm ready. Number three. Okay. Number three. Grand Theft Auto Five. <laughs> Pretty damn good game. Well, not only that, you need like a one terabyte PlayStation, and then put all the uh, all the mods and stuff on right. it as well. <laughs> right. Endless content there. Mm -hmm. So that's my number three. Number two, Counter Strike Global Offensive, because I need some kind of shooter. Right. And that's like the epitome of shooter. It's great. I don't know if I get online, but I'll just beat the crap out of bots, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, like, it's not it's like a, time. It's not a desert, <laughs> a desert island or anything like that. It's just the last games you can yeah. play, so there could still be internet. Okay. For this sake of this argument, you could still have internet. All right. So CSGO, mm. definitely. Not. All okay. right. And number one. It's been mentioned before, Diablo 2. Yep, kind of figured that. Obviously, it's very good. I mean, 20 years later, there is still combinations of gear that have not been found yet. Right. <laughs> like rare gear. So as far as replay goes, it's infinite. Yeah, Pretty I'm much. definitely digging that. I think my list would have a little more MMO-ish type stuff. I mean, I do like shooters too. Three is hard. Three is hard to pick. That's what I said. Like, three was rough. And so, Grand Theft Auto, like, but yeah, any of those that was to be the thing. Like, if it was great, if it was Grand Theft Auto, and like you were playing like those realistic servers or whatever, then that would be obviously that's really cool. Kind of like a shooter, yeah. Well, it's like what is that? The ones that they do where it's like oh, role playing, the role playing oh, servers. Yeah, yeah role playing too. That's right. what I'm saying. Like, there's so many mods and stuff. There's infinite content there. Alrighty. And there you have it. Krog's taking those to the grave with him. Alright, Krog, what right. you got for me? Alright, QWERTY. Build your ideal MMORPG. Ready. Um, I thought it was just going to be something very simple, but I was like, ah, I can add a few more things to this. So, um, we're going to start off with... Uh, the Diablo 2 rune system. Um, I really like that nice. system because the runes, it makes different words. Like if I could expand on that and have like thousands of rune words, you know, like pretty much any combination you put in a, a weapon or whatever would make something. I think that would be really cool. Um, that With that, I would take Borderlands drop system because they literally, I mean, Diablo 2's drop system is great too, but Borderlands literally, you like every gun that drops is different it can have whatever attachments whatever scope this many bolts in the clip that you know fire damn like it, it's so versatile that every gun you pick up pretty much going to be different than the last one even if they're similar you have to actually use the gun itself to be able to tell if it's like the gun you want to use basically so yeah with that um i want the guild wars one the first guild wars skill system um, that just had a lot of different builds, and it was unlike any other game where it's like, okay, you know, Paladin this, tank that, whatever. Where in Guild Wars, it switched all the time, and it switched almost daily, the builds, because if people started going heavy this build, they would counter it with this build, and then a lot of people were using the counter build, so people would start using the counter to the counter. And it just would keep in rotation until like you know a year later you're, you're totally different builds <laughs> plus they you know balanced it pretty well too so certain builds that were good weren't anymore so you had to come up with new stuff 
So. Well, it was basically thousands of skills, and you could only choose eight of them. But you could choose for like half of them. <laughs> Why? Well, they would or more than half. Yeah. Well, they, you'd have two classes, and out of those no. two classes, you would get the 200 skills they each had, or something like that. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was 100 a piece. It was maybe like a thousand skills across all classes. But yeah, there was a lot of different stuff you could do for variations. Sure. Yeah. Alrighty. And then I got for the graphics, I have Black Desert's graphics because <laughs> there you go. Just a Top beautiful, notch. beautiful yeah, game. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It just they overhauled it recently. Instead of making a De Black Desert two, they just overhauled it. And if you have a computer, they can run it on the top notch, um, like our now, gaming computer. It looks crazy. Sure. Would you go more medieval, or would you go more spaceship world to world? Well, I think it would just be like I don't know. I'm not really biased to anything as long as it's good. I, I mean, I definitely like the swords and the. The magic and stuff like that probably more because like you go to sci-fi or like futuristic it always becomes like guns i'm not necessarily my yeah. rpg i don't want it necessarily to be guns i'm not against them but when they are in yeah. rpgs i usually don't go with that i usually go with a sword and shield or something like that um yeah i think a lot of people are that way that's why skyrim was so right i don't well i don't really need my shooters and my MMOs being combined I don't really need that I mean we're playing Warframe right now and that's basically what it is and don't get me wrong it's really good it's just uh if it's an actual MMO like Guild Wars or World of Warcraft I don't want guns oh so, I guess it's a hard one to kind of answer yeah but yeah I probably go more towards the medieval rather than like futuristic but yeah me as well but then this brings me to the next one um I want so I want those graphics, but I want Final Fantasy VII's world planet oh, that they were on. So I want that. So that is like it's kind of both. Yeah, it's, it's like future. Like it's like futuristic, yeah. but still like kind of old school because like yeah, they're going. Barrett has a gun. <laughs> right, right. But then yeah, like, a lot Bob of people uses have swords. Yeah. Right. Eva uses knuckles, brass knuckles, and That's stuff. That's funny. So yeah, it is like a mashup of. Right, right. I'm. Good. I mean, I'm really yeah against any of it. It's just yeah, is the storyline good? Are the characters compelling? Are they, you know, well thought out stuff like that? And then the the item system, if it's well thought out and good, then I'm fine with it. Infinite possibilities. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, all right, there you have it. That's my build an MMO coming at you right now. Nice. We got you a question. Okay, so very simple. Like I asked Krog, but I'm only going to ask you for one. What would be your last game on Earth? The last game you could not live without. Um, put that down in the comments below. On your way down, hit that sub button. Give us some support. Much appreciate it. And uh, I'm Cordy with, here with Krog, and we're signing out. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.